Hello guys, welcome. This time I show you how to create your own city skylines mod. So I made a tutorial like this before, like a year ago or something like that, and it was German. And a lot of you guys wanted to see the same tutorial or a similar tutorial in English. So I'm not creating that video for you. And well, let's get started. First of all, you need to have uh, some kind of text editor or um, programming editor because we have to write code. And for that, I recommend using Visual Studio. But it's also possible to just use the text editor and that uh, Windows provides. But yeah, um, I will show you the process with Visual Studio right now, but I will explain in a minute what you have to do if you're not going to use Visual Studio. So, first of all, we have to find um, a certain folder. Go in here and type local app data. Don't forget the percent um, thingies because that's a special folder and this is um, some kind of variable, which then we'll get to that path here. So, and in here we have to find the Colossal Order um, folder. Colossal Order is the um, programming team of that um, of City Skylines. Then go into the City Skylines folder and then there is the Errons folder. And in here, yeah, there are all the other things, but we are creating a mod. So, yeah, the basic file structure in the mod folder is you create a folder um, which contains the name of your mod. Like, let's do it for a minute. Um, my first mod. In here, we create a source folder. So, you can name the, this folder whatever you want, but in your mod folder there has to be a folder called source with a big S and with a capitalized S at the beginning. And in here you have to place the C sharp files. So um, C Skylines is made with the Unity engine and the Unity engine uh, uh, uses C sharp. So we have to program in C, C sharp too. Well, you probably could program also with other languages like C++ or Visual Basic or other um, .NET languages but we'll just focus on C Sharp here, and that's the most common and simple language, so we'll stay with that. Um, so yeah, you have to place uh, the .cs files in here. But we're using Visual Studio, so it's a little bit different, but this will make a lot of um, things easier. So delete that, go to Visual Studio and create a new project. And we will create a class library, and let's call that my first mod. And basically now let's just copy um, the path over here to the mod folder. It's already in there, create. And then make this back. So it's um, basically you can't enter a solution name. So uncheck create directory for solution and press okay. That could take a hot minute. But then as you go back to the folder, you will see, oh, there is our folder in here and here's our project. But you will see, okay, there's some Visual Studio project files, but there's no source folder. So let's create a source folder in here. That's really simple. Just right click on this thing right here and add new folder and let's call that source. And yeah, we already have a class file in here. So let's delete that one. So just mark it and then press the um, delete key and then enter and then right click on the source folder and add and um, new item and we want to create a class so how do we call that class now um, it's basically a thing of your choice so i will call it um, my first mod again so and this may look a little bit different so on my channel you normally find um, programming tutorials or how to make your own game using the unity engine and c sharp and um, so i have a little bit different setup in here so there's it, it might look a little bit different so but basically what you need or let's say i'm going to lead on that stuff right here so first of all we have to import some classes to use so and these are um, system. This is some the default class you will, or um, library. These are actually libraries you want to import for several um, 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 other objects and classes. 
and we want to use iCities. That's the so these are libraries, class libraries, libraries with already code, and we want to use that code. So we want to use the system code. We want to use the iCities code, which is the code of um, well the modding API of City Skylines, and we want to use the Unity engine code. And as you may see, um, this is now red because he can't find these libraries, but we'll fix that in a minute. Um, let's just keep going. Now we have to define a namespace. Namespace is something like um, our project name, right? So we create a new namespace, just type namespace, and then we will call it my first mod. And yeah, you will, every time you create a new class, it basically looks like this. And the namespace, stay, blah, blah, blah. the namespace stays always the same. And then you put the class um, definition in here, public, um, public class. How do we want to call this class? Well, most times you want to call it um, the same as you named your file. So my first mod, something like this. So now we have to find a class in C sharp and yeah, that's a basic class. Now let's fix these issues. So I shouldn't say issues because basically you're able to code in the text editor and the text editor won't um, underline this one. Um, this is only um, if we want to link these. So if you open that in here, you will see here's the system thing and that's why we are able to um, use it and, but we don't have the ICTs and Unity Engine things in here. But if we have, we, um, Visual Studio actually shows us hints. And um, like if we're programming, and um, it shows us wh um, which methods are available. Um, what can I do with um, the ICT RPE? And that's really nice if you program something. So we want to add these now. So um, just click on this little triangle and yeah you will see it's not in here then right click on references add reference now we click pros and now you have to know where um, city skylines is installed so for me it's on my c drive and well most of you for most of you it will be there if you downloaded city skylines using steam so um program steam uh no it was this one steam um, Steam apps over here, then common and where is it? Um, yeah, city skylines, and then go into the data folder. So city skylines underscore data, and then managed. And in here, there are all the DLL files. These are basically compiled code, and we want to create our own DLL file so that city skylines loads our lot, uh, our mod. Sorry. <laughs> So we need two files. We need the iCities um, DLL file, which is this one, and the Unity Engine one. Ah, wrong one, this one. If you want to do something with the new Unity UI, I'm not even sure if um, C Skylines is using that, but if you want to use that, you have to import this one as well. If you want to use the networking, networking this one, and yeah, that's it. So, but we are just going, or I'm just go with these two. So add these. And yeah, okay. So now it says just these are unnecessary because we don't use them yet. But then let's start creating our mod. Um, we basically create our mod by extending this class with I user mod. So now you either have to learn C sharp or you already know it, or you have to trust me that our mod looks like this. So this basically is a class from the iCities and this is the basic mod class you want to extend. So this um, um, silicon means that you extend this class and um, now it, for me it's um, underlining this. I'm not sure if it does for you because I have an, I use ReSharper which is an add-on for Visual Studio. Um, but it should be similar for you when just, yeah, I want to want both and it creates these for me if it don't well then just write them no problem there and well i want to change them a little bit okay 
like this, like this. And then in here, it's basically, these are called properties and it's some kind of method. Um, that's not important for now. And basically here you write the name of your mod. Um, my first mod. And here it's no problem to use um, spaces. Don't forget the semicolon after every line of code or after every statement. And um, in here we have return a description. Um, my awesome description. Yeah, cool. Basically, now we've created our first mod, which really does nothing. But we could load it into CD's guidelines and it would show a name and a description. So now we want to do something if all the uh, mod is successfully loaded. Um, to do that, we have to create a new class. Um, let's call this loader and it extends or it has to extend loading extension base. This is a class of city guidelines and which contains several methods. We can all write them and they are called um, if something happens like a level is loaded. So let's overwrite them like this. And, and there's also a load mode math, um, um, variable. We could check that for example, if we want to see what actually gets loaded, we would check if mode equals to load map. If so, so this code in here would be executed if we're loading a map, but we don't want to do that right now. We just want to create a new game object. So what's a game object? Game object is from the Unity API. So it's very good if you already know the Unity engine because that's the part where you can use your knowledge there. Um, game object, basically every, um, everything in Unity or, and because of that also in City um, Skylines is a game object. And we want to create a game object because then we can create a script which has custom logic and this script um, is then assigned to the game object. So let's call this just go, go or something like that. And by that you're creating an empty game object, then just give it a name. Let's yeah, let's name it test object. And then we could um, add a component with that command. But I don't want to do that because we don't have a component right now. We first have to create one. So let's create another class. And components are called mono behaviors. And let's just create our own behavior. So my behavior, um, mono behavior. And yeah, so in here we have several methods. Um, and we don't overwrite methods of mono behavior. Um, this one just get called. And for example, the void start, if you want to do something when the object's awake awakes. So we'll do here something later. And there's also the update method, which I won't use, but there, whoops, um, this one gets executed every frame. So if you want to do something um, every frame, like moving an object, we would do this in here. So we created a game object. Let's add our new script, add component, and then um, my behavior. We are saying add a, com add a component from the type of my behavior and then this should already work, but we have no way to verify that this object is created. So let's print out a message if the um, object is initialized. And to do that, we need another um, um, reference because there is no way to print a message out with the CD Skylines API. We have to use the code um, which contains also the logic of city skylines. So the game itself and for that just click browse again You should be in the folder again where we navigated before and then there should be the colossal managed URL. Make sure there's a checkmark as well and click OK. By the way, you don't need the assembly, right? Um, and then you should be able to add using Colossal Framework plugins. And yeah, then there is the method debug output. Oops, output panel should be in here. Why don't I have access to it? 
well, I'm just gonna write, gonna finish writing this message. And in here we have the plugin manager. This one's available, weird. Um, message type, message. And here we can specify our message. For example, it works so cool. <laughs> Like this. So why is that not working? So yeah, it took me a while, but I figured it out. For some reason, we need another reference. So I'm not sure why, but this here is in the Colossal Framework DOL. But for the debug output panel, we need the assembly C sharp DLL file, which I'm gonna add now. And now this is working. And I figured out something else. If we use the Unity API, meaning we're not using just the ICTs API, we're also using Unity API, what we're doing right now. Um, then we have to reset city guidelines every time we want to load our mod. Or basically at least once after we change something. So we don't have to um, restart um, city guidelines every time. But if you change something here again, you have to restart Unity. But if you only use, if you not use the Unity namespace, so also not game objects and all that stuff, and um, you can just use that and reloading works just fine. But well, most mods require modding the modding with Unity as well as ours. So um, we need that. And that uh, means we have to start the guidelines or restart it. And after that, I'm going to um, load or continue my game. Um, let's check first if our mod is still enabled. It should be. There's no reason that it shouldn't. And in here in the debug console, there's just a message which says, oh yeah, your mod was compiled successfully. And whoops, I cleared it. Didn't meant to do that. And here is still our mod. It's enabled. So let's press continue game. And now while loading, our game object should create it, should be created, and a script should be assigned. And on the script, there should be our method which is executed and let's have a look at the debug output by pressing f7 and in here here's our message it works so cool nice so this one works from here you have to um basically google how to create certain things how to achieve certain things um i recommend you to um go just just go through the steam store um no, what's called steam workshop and look through some plugins most of them link um, a link to github um, and there's the source code of their mod so if you want to create a mod which is similar to another mod or, mod or which has the same features just copy the code from them and try it it's also a good way to learn um, a programming language it's a little bit hard because modding is not the easiest one but if you do want to do that this way then go for it well um if you want to then follow my channel i make a lot of uh, unity tutorials and all that stuff and um, if you like that video, give it a like. Um, till next time, bye.